Hi my loves, so today I want to show you all uh, the perfumes that I have out right now. They're all in this um, little bit wobbly plasticky carousel thing, but I thought it was so fun and um, I just found it at Primark and yeah, so I got it and it was really fun putting all the perfume in. At some point it looked really nice and I ordered it, you can see something like here but then I exchanged it up and down and uh, so yeah this is the current state I did not edit I did not dust so you might be able to see this so let's get into the carousel first up is Bulgari Omnia Coral and this I nearly used up so this is all that's left I'm not sure if I repurchased because I just repurchased Tiffany and I was absolutely obsessed with it. I had a 30 ml bottle, I emptied it completely. And now I sit here with this one, I emptied it like this, but now I don't grab it anymore. And this happens to me so, so often. Each time I upgrade and I get a new bottle and a bigger bottle, this happens. So I'm not quite sure. I have a lot of other ones to go uh, through. I mean, to basically empty them, which will probably never happen in a lifetime, but, um, yeah, so I'm not sure about that one. I like it, but it's not my absolute favorite. So I'll see, I'll let you know. Uh, where do I put it? I just put it back here. Next one in this little room <laughs> is um, Prerogative by Britney Spears. This is a coffee scent. Really nice um, coffee vanilla. A bit spicy um, but yeah very nice I like it more than black opium next up in this one is boom and um, I thought this smells like uh, an apple from a fun fair and it does a little bit at least it smells of apples and not like the Nina Ritchie apple that only smells like uh, of raspberries but yeah this is nice this is a little bit fun fair feeling this one uh, not very long lasting but it's fun and it's sweet and it's a pick-me-up it's not something I would wear on a date hi so I just had to adjust the tripod a little bit so um, if I'm in a different focus then that's why next one is I go up here um, so this is Tom Ford Noir I really like it. It smells of kofi, which I already tried. It's an ice cream and Indian ice dessert. Really nice. It's uh, spicy. Um, I really like it. I wore it maybe a month for a month every now and again in the evening or yeah, it was winter actually. And then I never touched it again. I don't know. Sometimes it's weird. This Signorina. Um, sweet berry scent. Very celebrity fragrance, like sweet, if you know what I mean. But on the other hand, it also smells a little bit like uh, La Petite Rouge Noir Intense by Galin, the blue one. That smells of blueberry. I think they're quite similar. Um, behind that, it's Oud Save the Queen, the only Oud I left out. Oh, I just love this stuff. It's like... If you like Oud, seriously, try this. This is the best one I tried. Having said that, I just had a little test of Santal Royal. That's really quality. My goodness, that's really good. But oh, this one is, I don't know, it's tea and oud. It's just amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I don't wear it often though. Um, I had I had a, a period where I wore it a lot, but right now, not a fan, not for summer. Um, up here is um, Angel Muse. Oh my god, this is so dusty. <laughs> I should have done that before the video. So if you see dust balls falling, then you know why. Don't judge. Um, this is Angel Muse. The EDP, obviously, you see <laughs> the color. I really like it. I used it quite a lot. I will probably use it more in the winter. This is a winter scent for me. It's like a scratchy passion fruit. Is it Passion fruit or guava? I think it's passion fruit. It smells like passion fruit, passion fruit, chocolate. Really weird or oh, hazelnut. It's really weird. It doesn't fit, but that makes it cool. Then um, something really mainstream 
Victoria Beckham, uh, Victoria Beckham, Victoria's Secret bombshell. Um, that is, it's another sweet, innocent, I don't know why it's called bombshell. It smells like a little innocent schoolgirl to me, not sexy at all, but um, yeah, I like it. It's fresh, it's summery, mm, not a dating scent, but it's nice. Which direction shall I go? I go this direction. Okay, so start on the bottom again. This is the clean. I um, I also included this in a in a haul summer day. As you can see, I used it quite a bit. Right now, I like it. It's it's a mix out of a tropical um, tropical coconut white floral. I think there's tiara flower in it, uh, as the <laughs> as the image suggests. And I really like the pear scent. It makes it warm for some reason. It warms it up. It's uh, similar to Lancome Idol. I think the vibe is similar, but that's obviously a rose scent and this this isn't. But yes, it vibes similar. Um, also in this uh, tropical range, there is a Nux Delicious Fragrant Water, um, 30 ml bottle. <laughs> As you can see, I use it often because I also take it in my handbag to work or wherever I go, actually. This is um, sunscreen lotion. Oh, it's it's so lovely, coconutty, summery. Um, goes with this one. Um, speaking of summery, there's Aqua di Parma, Arancia di Capri. Uh, I haven't smelled that for a while. Oh, this is so good, why didn't I? Yeah, it's really good. It smells of uh, oranges. Yeah, that is really good. Like orange peel almost. Or like um, mandarin. Really good. Really, really nice. And this one I also like a lot. This I compared to um, Margiela's replica line um, under the lemon tree. This is pretty similar. It's a woody lemon. Very unisex, sweet, uplifting. I like this. Smells more expensive than the bottle looks. Uh, a Girl in Capri by L'Enfant. I don't know if that's it. Um, okay. Uh, next up, Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. Another one of these uh, sunscreen lotion type scents. This is um, very green. It smells almost like fresh cut grass. And I think this is similar, but this is less green. It's really nice. I like it. I nearly finished this bottle but that was last year or even a year before when i was in sweden i used it a lot and yeah just the whole summer i really loved it then oh yeah here in the back i put the tacky top somewhere else i absolutely hate the top it's so over the top the top um i like the scent that is guava and it's aquatic but not too much yeah, really like it. This is also girly. It's girly. Nothing special. Girly, aquatic, summer scent. Tiffany, I already told you, I really absolutely love. It's an iris powdery citrus scent. It smells very expensive, like an expensive version of Dolce Gabbana, like blue actually. Um, and then on top we have a very dusty angel. <laughs> It's so dusty because I, did, I didn't use it ever. Oh. Okay, so I, well, I actually, I did use it a little bit, especially when I got it. This is Angel Eau Croisière, Eau Croisière, the 2020 version. Oh yeah, it's a fig, fig scent, fig praline. It's nice, it's nice, I really like it, I will wear it. Yeah, I had to be reminded. I will definitely wear it. Um, this is more summery than this one. To me, this is missing the, the scratchiness that this one has that makes this weird. Um, this is almost more balanced, although it has a praline note. Um, this is not so strange. The fig and the and the chocolate and the praline are probably closer than passion fruit and hazelnut. 
Next up. Baldafrique. I was crazy about this. I used up the tester in maybe three days. And then I got the, the bottle. Um, and then I only used such a little bit. And now I just, I don't know, I'm just not interested. It's really nice scent, but it's more, maybe I would wear it when I'm out of the shower and stay here at home, but then I just don't gravitate to it. I don't know why. Uh, next in this tray, uh, no relation to this other one at all. Oh, cardamom coffee by Lush. I got probably one of the last bottles because this is discontinued. This is just so good. It's so sweet and smells like the most amazing sugary coffee cardamom mix. Oh, it's amazing. Honestly, this is lovely. Best coffee scent. Mm. Then I have Christian Dior Holy Peony. That's a peony scent, obviously. Shocker. It's a very nice rose, honestly. I mean, obviously they smell expensive and I'm not only saying that because they are expensive, but there's a certain airiness about them. This is really, I love this one. This is really nice. Um, if, I, if I'm in the mood for rose, I often choose this one. Um, now I should go to this one because there are some rose scents, but um, I go up like, otherwise I get confused. Um, Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. I love this. This is like Flower Bomb. Um, the original La Vie est Belle. It's got a similar vibe. Very st stingy, um, very sweet, glowing, long-lasting, sour, tart. Just yum. I like it. I like it a lot. I haven't used this one a lot though. Um, I have to be in the mood. Same with this one because they linger so long and then you really have to commit to it. And for me, that's a tricky thing. This one I also love. This is vanilla and um, raspberry. It's almost like raspberry sweets. Very clear. But also a little vanilla. -y. It's Lancome La Vie Belle Intensement. Then, oh, one of my absolute favorites. I still don't get a new bottle. I will get a new bottle when I empty this. I will see how I feel about it this autumn and if I empty it and only then I will buy a new bottle. But then even that doesn't work because, I mean, you see with Tiffany, now it's just standing there and I'm grabbing other ones. Anyway, I really love this. Oh yeah, this is, uh, to me, it's salted caramel. There's no caramel, there's vanilla, it's salted vanilla, but this smells like salted caramel for, um, to me and a little bit plum, overripe, honey melon, something like that, a bit heavy. I like it. Mm. Dolce Gabbana, the only one. I don't particularly like it. It's very perfumey. It's similar to black opium. It's got coffee as a note. It's all right. It's a typical woman's perfume. It's got nothing special. So I have a big bottle that I want to get rid of. And this is only here because it's the cutest bottle ever. <laughs> so sweet. Then um, Maison Margiela under the elementary. Yeah, love it, love it. Very unisex. Same as a girl in Capri, lemon, a woody lemon scent, slightly tea note. Uh, Poison Girl, that was my first purchase, perfume purchase on Depop. And I like it, it's like a gel consistency, which I find a bit odd. I don't really like uh, to have scents on my skin. Uh, I rather spray it on clothes and hair. And this you can't really spray on clothes or roll on clothes because it's very, yeah, it's a bit slimy, almost like gel. Um, yeah, this is an almond scent. I love this scent and I'm considering buying a spray bottle of this because I really like it. It's, um, it's also perfumey, but it's more girly. 
not so grown up woman. Um, next up is Nina Ricci. I think this is Ricci Ricci by Nina Ricci or something crazy like that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, this is rhubarb, guys. It's rhubarb. It's so nice. Sweet, floral, fruity rhubarb. Oh, I love this stuff. This is so good. Underrated. Never talked about. I really like it. Super nice girly scent. I don't know. They do something wrong with the marketing with this bottle, I think. I don't know. It's really good. I mean, it's old, maybe. That's why they concentrate on their newer, newer stuff. This is also Nina Ricci and this is Rose Lake Stars, I think. I got it when it was all the hype and because it was cheap. This is more candied rose, I think. It's like a rose candy. Really nice. I don't know if I smell this or a thousand other scents. Um, yeah, I really like it. I don't grab uh, any of these. I sometimes spray this when I'm in the mood for rhubarb or when I want to... Um, or when I want to add something fresh to a perfume that I'm currently wearing. Uh, Oscar de la Renta, Bella Rosa. That was meant to be a dupe for Delina. Uh, but that was long ago and it's uh, debunked. So it's not a dupe for Delina. But the rose is similar. So I understand the, I understand the comparison, but all the... Um, almost petrol like um iso e super in my opinion <laughs> um woodiness it's not woody it's more petrol smell like scent um that delina has and of course rhubarb is missing but yeah this is nice i like it i prefer this one um i prefer bella rosa to this one then uh, next up hypnotic poison I love this stuff. I love it since I discovered it probably sometime in the 90s. Oh, lovely. I love the Play-Doh Play effect scent. Such a comforting vanilla. It's really thick. It's like a thick vanilla dough that is unbaked. It's crazy, crazy yummy. Um, I also like the EDP version. This is EDT that lasts forever. You don't need the EDP, but EDP has some licorice. I think that's a little bit too much. I'm not sure I like licorice in perfumes. These both are dupes for Love Don't Be Shy by Kilian. They really are in their own in their own, own little way. <sighs> yeah, they're both nice. I like them and I love the bottles and I was considering getting the green one as well, just for giggles, <laughs> just for this little compartment here. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Let's see, up here is another little, tiny, little, teeny, tiny, cutesy bottle. I love everything tiny, sorry. <laughs> this scent. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, that's an apple scent and it's it just smells like apple shampoo. Yeah, it's an apple scent. Some people said it smells like a businesswoman. I don't think so at all. No, to me it's just an apple scent. Apple made into a perfume. Then um, there's Versace Bright Crystal. Bright Crystal. This one, this is nice. It's alright. It's a little bit like Omnia Coral. Slightly the same. But I prefer uh, Omnia Coral. This is alright. I wouldn't get a full bottle of this. Um, the only one I have a full bottle of is the Yellow Diamond. And I like it because of the lemon, but um, it gets on my nerves if I have it on the whole day <laughs> and respray. Versace Eros Pour Femme. This, I think it's the EDP. Very sweet. This is definitely girly. I mean, hmm. nothing that... Nothing that interests me. I don't know. 
there's actually crystal noir oh sorry <laughs> these bottles are just too cute the scent is all right it smells a little bit like butter coconut and white flowers uh, very perfumey it's not for me but it's all right mm, oh i'm round i'm round and about <laughs> i'm already round okay there's just this one um i posted a review of this one this is spring jasmine by shanghai Chang. Smells like jasmine, but a perfumey jasmine, like jasmine oil, not fresh, not a fresh, creamy jasmine. This is more clear and crystally jasmine. Jasmine made into perfume. That's what it smells like. Good quality. My nose thinks. Oh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot Nina Ricci again. This one smells of raspberry, not apple. Uh, re really sweet, really nice, really girly. I like it, but it's in the same realm as this one, I would say. This is a little better, but only because I love raspberry. Uh, and this is blueberry, blackberry, something like that. and. This berry with the super sweetness smells a little bit cheap. This doesn't smell like an expensive niche fragrance, but it's all right. It's good. You know, I have a YSL Florale, Montparis Floral, and it is a similar vibe. It's a similar vibe to that one. Maybe you get an idea. Anyway. I think that was it from my perfume carousel for today. You can see Delina and Cassili here in the corner. Delina, which I never never wear, but I love to have it here on my on my little shelf. To me it smells like petrol. And then I have Cassili, which I often wear. It it's a really nice fruity vanilla. Mm, I like it a lot. It's not worth the price whatsoever not at all it's a lovely fragrance i'm glad i got it yes so that was it from me and my little perfume carousel have a lovely day thanks for watching my video and i'll see you in my next one bye